I grew up in a Greek American family and that's a big part of my identity. My mom and her sisters pretty much covered the range of what was considered appropriate careers for women. My mom, Jen, was a nurse. My Aunt Mary was a librarian. My Aunt Sylvia was a teacher. And my Aunt Marty was a rebel because she became an actress. Now, women today have far more options, but that's not embedded enough in our psyches. And that becomes self-limiting. So say the word engineer and what comes to mind, a man or a woman. We need to understand the importance of language and the importance of role models. Because when people can look up and see people who look like them, they understand maybe I can be that. I never considered a job in business. My dream when I was in school was to be a writer, and then I thought I might be a teacher, and then at university I studied psychology and organizational development. And what I love doing is still somehow connected to those things. And what I wrap around that is an intense desire for results in the business. If you can overcome your own internal limitations, the limitations you put on yourself, you can do anything. I get asked all the time about how you manage work-life balance. Forget the work-life balance paradigm. Nothing is ever perfectly balanced, and if it feels like it is, it's likely to tip over any second. When times are tough, I need perspective, and Roger, Alexa, and Jake never fail to ground me in that. My family is what allows me to really stretch at work. They give me the support, the stability, and allow me to take real risks. Everyone has different values, different families, but I do encourage people to enjoy every moment of the journey because it goes by so fast. One moment you're pregnant, and I was the largest pregnant person you have ever seen. Cherish them as babies. You know, the way they smell, the way they are. The next thing, you are running after them on the beach and making sure they don't drown. But how good is being on that beach with them? The next thing you know, they're giving you a surprise 35th anniversary party, and you are moved to tears with them standing up talking about you as parents. A lot of people talk about the guilt they feel, you know, not being fully at home and not being fully at work. And, and I choose to frame that in a very different way. It's, it's how it works together. They make me a better leader and work makes me a better mom.